Real gospel with real harmony and real grooves. How many of you could say that God has been so good to you? I'm Simone Malone. Good morning to you. I greet you once again. In the precious name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are listening to the Songbook of Gospel. And for those of you that are checking me out right now on Facebook and my YouTube channel called Trusted Voice and Radio, hello to you. Happy summer. I appreciate you so much. And make sure if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel called Trusted Voice and Radio, become a subscriber. There you will get all the inspirational moments, the exclusive interviews. You can go back over and over again and watch them and share the link with your family and friends. Well, it's truly summertime. Um, you know, I got back into my exercise regimen of riding my, my mountain bike, but you know, the weather has been so hot. It's been so hot that I don't even want to ride. So if you are a person that likes to exercise, you walk, which is very good because where, where our studios are and actually where I live, um, a lot of people walk around this big reservoir near where I live. And I see them early in the morning. Um, I see them late at night. I'm telling you, folks are trying to stay fit and get their exercise in. But make sure that you be careful out there during this this major heat wave because the life that you save is definitely your own. It definitely feels good here in the studio. Even with the studio light shining on me, uh, it feels great in here. So make sure you drink plenty of liquids and stay comfortable. I was telling you earlier, for those of you that were listening, <clears throat> excuse me, that... um. You know, it's all about staying healthy. And this morning, um, I came in, and, and this was me. And thank you. Thank you so much. It's it's watermelon. See that? Get a good shot of that. You see that? That's the watermelon, fresh watermelon smoothie. <laughs> I love it. You see me taste it? I keep it real. And for those of you that like watermelon, cantaloupe, and all that great stuff, please, please eat it. It's very healthy for you. And all natural vitamins for you. It's all about staying healthy and staying fit. And thanks to... What nots and what have you. I just want to get these preliminaries out before I go into our inspiration a moment for uh, making sure that um, I got my special product, the eucalyptus spearmint. And for many of you who like natural products, you know what I'm talking about. It's important to use those on your body so you can have really healthy skin. Even my soap person, I appreciate her so much for making sure that I have my lemongrass. That's what I use, the lemongrass. Folks, it's a great soap. All natural. Anyhow, Hope your summer will be well. I want to talk about, and I really wasn't going to go into this, but the spirit was on me because I was just um, chatting with a couple of people that I had to really dismiss from my association. Not because I don't care about them. The telephone line is ringing down. Put that on hold for me. But um, the fact of the matter is, is uh, sometimes you have to um, clean some things out of your life and you think that people are really your friends or really your buddies. Mm-hmm. We use that word often, my buddy. <laughs> I say it. But to show yourself as being a buddy can be a whole lot of things. Well, sometimes you have to just dismiss folks, and you have to do it in love, not because you don't care about them. It's because it's best that you let them go because you find out that the interaction is not working in a positive way. And I'm all about helping people. I'm all about motivating people. I'm all about lifting people where they are. This has been a part of me since I was a kid. That's why I work in the mental health field, to help people who have chronic conditions to feel better about themselves. So I want to talk about my buddy. Mm, my buddy. You can say my buddy and the name if you want. But First Corinthians chapter 12, 18 through 27. I want you to read that during your devotion. That's First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 18 through 27. But I want to focus on Corinthians number 12, 25. And it says, the members should have the same care for one another. I was telling this individual, and I told a couple of these individuals that I've been knowing, that do you really care about me? Do you have Simone's best interests? I have shown you, I have had conversations with you to show you that I care about you. We all want to be treated the same, but a lot of times in an interaction, in an association, or someone that you call your buddy, or maybe your friend, they don't care about you as much as you care about them, but we ought to love them. But we can love them from a distance. We can still care for them from a distance. So Corinthians number 12, 25 says the members should have the same care for one another. Why is it that they don't? Well, it's very important that you make decisions of the people that you associate with, whether you want them to be a part of your life or whether you don't. People often dismiss others who are different from themselves. Uh-huh. Check this out. But is that really right to do? 
We do it all the time. We want people to kind of be a part of our circle, to be a part of uh, what we do. But we have our differences, but they still should be concerned about you. When they're not concerned or don't take any interest in you, you need to let them go, I'm telling you. So is there many in the world who needs to be in the love of the Lord, who needs to know how to care for one another? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Say, Lord, help us to see how much we need each other in our Christian walk. We all need each other in our Christian walk. Your words, your kindness, something you may do, something you may say, may help me in my development. So we have to be careful of that. May we show your love to others who are different than us. I know that I'm different. I know that you're different. But are we walking down the same path? The, the responsibility of us as Christians is to make it to heaven, right? We ought to witness to folks and help them in their development, right? There's a big difference in that. The way they look, the way they smell, the way they communicate, uh-huh, the way they dress. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Give us an open heart to learn. We need one another in order to be who God wants us to be. So the question to you is, who is your buddy? Is your buddy the greatest person in your life? Your greatest buddy should be your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we all <clears throat> need a buddy in this life. We all need a real friend. But if that person is not a part of your real circle of concern in your development and doesn't have your best interests, let him or her go. Let me tell you something. Sometimes it's hard to do that, but you're going to feel better at the end. Sometimes you have to let people go so they can do the kind of things that they need to do in their lives because we have become a crutch for folks. I was talking to a woman yesterday that said that she needs to get her grown children out of her house. Sometimes we are in hindrance to our family and our buddies when we continue to tolerate the nonsense. Uh-huh. You have to let that person go. That is your buddy. So when you get a chance, I want you to read that inspiration a moment. Corinthians number 12, 25 says, again, the members should have the same care for one another. If they don't, you know what you need to do. You need to let them go. So read First Corinthians chapter 12, 18 through 27. And there you have it, the inspiration a moment today. Are you my buddy? My buddy right here on FM HDMS, now on streaming HD1. Hope you enjoyed that one, too.